Hey everybody, I'm Adam Andler from Sherpers and in this video I'm talking about a bunch of the different Malone products that we carry in our stores and a bunch of the products that I specifically use every time I hit the water. We are going to be talking about the Malone trailer, the Malone kayak cart, their cam buckle load straps, the tow flag, and their lockup cable tie. We got a lot of great accessories, a lot of great products. Guys, stick around. This is going to be a great video. All right, you guys. Well, for starters, I'm going to talk about the trailer that I use to get me to and from the water every time I use my kayaks. And this is the Malone Mega Sport Low Bed Trailer. This trailer actually has room for four boats. So as you can see, I have two on the bottom bunk, and then you have the top bunk. Those two load bars, you can have an additional two more kayaks if you wish. And what's great about this top bunk too is you can add like a storage uh, trunk or like a rod tube for your fishing rods during transport. Malone has a lot of great options and accessories if you want to do that instead of having room for boats you can add some other accessories as well but for strapping down my boats i like to use the malone cam buckle load straps they come in a variety of different sizes and colors this yellow one is a 18 foot long strap and the cam buckle strap is all you really need when you're loading these on the trailer you don't want to over tighten it with like a ratchet strap because then you could actually warp your boat so the cam buckle straps from alone is all you really need and they get the job done next i want to talk about security and for some of these tournaments i'm actually traveling far away and I end up staying overnight in hotels in different cities and unfamiliar areas so I want to make sure that I lock my kayaks up and that no one can steal them on me and Malone makes a couple different locks this is the 10 foot uh, lock up lock that they offer it's just a cable lock and as you can see I go around the boat and the base of the trailer and come up through the other boat so I pretty much lock both my kayaks together to this trailer to make it nearly impossible for someone to take them on me. Another That's accessory another. that Malone offers uh, as far as safety is concerned is the safety tow flag. This is just a red flag that you can put on the back of your kayak so that no one runs into you while you're out traveling on the road. I think it retails for about $7.99 and it's definitely worth it. Malone sells a ton of different kayak carts and when you're choosing a kayak cart you want to make sure that you are selecting one that is capable of hauling your kayak. So this is the MPG 521 also known as the Wide Track and this is actually a kayak cart that is built to handle a load of up to 250 pounds so this is the biggest capacity as far as weight's concerned. And as you can see, we have the no flat tires on here, which is great. They'll never go flat on you. They're usually made out of plastic, but it's a very rugged plastic. And it's meant to handle like harder surfaces like this asphalt or concrete. And then they actually have some kayak carts that have beach wheels on it. And those are a bigger inflatable wheel that actually is meant to go on sand like beaches and things like that. But these kayak carts, they come in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different weight capacities. So when you're choosing one, make sure that it fits the kayak that you are using. So when you get your cart, you want to make sure that you can adjust these bars to the width of your kayak. So as you can see on this rack, we have a couple different holes that we can move these bunks on to make sure that it properly fits your kayak. So you can kind of just eye it up and see we need to go a little wider because of this hull on this boat we need to make sure that these bunks are on the outside here so it properly distributes the weight so we are going to simply adjust that by pulling out this cotter pin and moving these load bars over just a tad just to make sure that it fits So 
So now that I adjusted the width of the bunks to fit the bottom of the boat, we are now ready to move and transport this kayak to the water. Another thing I want to point out quick to you guys is on this kayak, as you can see this black leg here on the back of this wide track kayak cart is actually a stand so that when you put this cart on the ground it stands on its own. But one thing you need to remember is when you're moving your boat, whatever direction you're going to be heading in, make sure that this stand is the opposite way. So that when you put the kayak on here and all the weight is on here, those legs will come off the ground and now you can freely move this cart. So when I'm actually ready to load the kayak onto the cart, all I'm going to do is have the kayak cart off to the side here and all I'm going to do is simply pick up and lift the nose of the kayak over on top of the cart, making sure that the cart is about even with the middle of the kayak or about where the seat would be. And now you can make a slight adjustments if you need to to make sure that that cart is properly in the middle and where you want it to be. And then all we're going to do is take the strap here and strap the kayak onto the cart so that it doesn't fall off while you're in transport moving it down to the water. And that's just another simple cam buckle. Pull it tight. And away we go, folks. This kayak is now easily ready to move simply by pushing down and pulling it. And this is the easiest way to move a kayak. Another tip I would like to add is when you're moving the kayak, whether you're transporting it from the water back on the trailer, from the roof of your car to the water, whenever you're moving the kayak, let's make it easier on ourselves and let's move it empty. I do not want to move this kayak fully loaded. It's just way too much weight. The kayak itself already weighs 100 pounds. Once you add a lead acid battery, that's another 50 pounds. The drive unit, another 25 pounds. Tons of fishing lures and gear, that's another 25, 30 pounds. It adds up, folks. So when we're moving the kayak, let's make it easier on ourselves. Let's empty out the kayak and move it all by itself. And especially when you're alone, I recommend unloading it completely while you're moving it back and forth. It just makes it simpler and easier on us. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get this kayak onto this trailer. I promise you, you can do it all by yourself and here's how. So you already got your kayak loaded on the cart. All we're going to do is simply turn it around bring it up to the kayak. As you can see, the front of the kayak is already elevated high enough to actually make it over this, the load bar. And then we're gonna simply undo the strap and push the kayak the rest of the way. It's very easy, guys. Check this out. Probably under 20 seconds. So there we go, as you can see, that kayak is already elevated high enough thanks to our wide track cart. We're going to unstrap it and we are just going to push that kayak the rest of the way onto that trailer and onto that load bar. Very easy, very simple. Voila, we are ready to go home. I want to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to strap down your kayak to your trailer when you're finished for the day and ready to head home, this is the easiest way to do it. So you're gonna take your Malone load strap, you're gonna start with the cam buckle end and you're gonna make sure that's face up and you're gonna run that under this first load bar here, pull enough slack through and rest that on the other side. Then you're gonna walk over and you can adjust it. You wanna make sure that the Malone uh, low goes face up and then you're going to take the tag end here you're going to run it through the D-ring 
on the load bar. The D-ring is just meant to catch the strap in case it would come loose for whatever reason. It's not dragging behind you. And now you're going to take your tag end, and you're going to run it through the foam padding here. That is just meant to protect the boat so you don't scratch it. And then you're going to go through the cam buckle, pull that tag end through, just like so. And then you're going to adjust that so that the cam buckle is about in the middle, and you're going to pull tight. Ugh, just like that. And then you're going to take your tag end, and you can just tie that off. You're going to just tie that off about anywhere so that it's not blowing around while you're out on the road. I like to do two knots. And that is it. Very simple, very easy. That kayak ain't going anywhere. And you're going to do that to the back as well. And when you have two of these load straps on there, that kayak is so secure. A lot, a lot of great products from Malone. They get me to and from the water every time I'm out. Thanks, Malone. And check out Sherpers.com for more information. We carry almost all of their products in the store or online. Check it out. Hales Corners, Economoc, Port Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.